When you love someone, you do not love them all the time, in exactly the same way, from moment to moment. It is an impossibility. It is even a lie to pretend to. And yet, this is exactly what most of us demand. We have so little faith in the ebb and flow of life, of love, of relationships. We leap at the flow of the tide and resist in terror its ebb. We are afraid it will never return. We insist on permanency, on duration, on continuity, when the only continuity possible in life, as in love, is in growth, in fluidity, in freedom, in the sense that the dancers are free, barely touching as they pass, but partners in the same pattern. Relationships must be like islands. One must accept them for what they are here and now, within their limits. Islands surrounded and interrupted by the sea and continually visited and abandoned by the tides. I mean, I know a lot of people have asked how did you meet? Well, it was actually my unbelievable competence um, with uh, iPhones and social media and stuff. Anyway, um, we started texting and uh, based on the photo of my motorcycle, uh, she asked if I was into MotoGP, yeah, motorcycle racing. I said yes and uh, braced myself for the usual banal rubbish about, you know, oh, don't they get really fast, isn't it nice? But no, 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 what, what I got was instantly, what's your, who's your favourite uh, rider? Uh, 04, 46, 99? <laughs> I'm like, whoa, hang on, hang on. So, no names, you know, just numbers. And uh, so I went back with, uh, well, 35. And she said, oh yeah, uh, instantly came back with, oh yeah, of course, Cal Crutchlow. English. Yeah, he's British, yeah. So I thought, at that point, I thought, I hadn't even met her or anything, but I thought, you know, I better choose a ring <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I want to start this speech off by talking about the bride. She's funny, kind, and has finally sorted out my dad's fashion sense. So, as you can imagine, my dad had very little design input into this wedding, otherwise we'd all be at a pub somewhere drinking pale ale. <clears throat> you make my father very happy, which is all a son can ask for. When I was asked to be best man, I was honoured. Um, I'd like to share with you guys today um, one of my earliest memories and that was my dad and I flying. We'd get in, in his red Ford Sierra, drive down to the airfield, after completing his checks we'd take off. Growing up I thought my dad was the coolest man alive, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> He's been a helicopter pilot in the Navy, fought pirates in Hong Kong, raced cars and rode motorbikes. My dad is always the first person I ask when I'm struggling with anything, even if I then ignore his advice <laughs> and then do it my own way anyway. So, when we did meet, I was hit not, not just by you know, good looks, um, but also a vivacious personality. And, uh, and since I've grown to uh, love a sort of ever happy and optimistic uh, outlook, which uh, certainly grabs me by the collar and pulls me out from the cesspit of despair that I find myself <laughs> in sometimes. <laughs> call upon these persons here present
to witness that I, Warren Roy Douse, do take thee, Cherry Oi Kinto, to be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon this person's here present to witness that I, Chari Oi Kinto, do take thee, Warren Roy Daos, to be my lawful wedded husband. Yeah, they say love works in mysterious ways. That you are now, finally, finally, husband and wife. You may celebrate with a kiss! The brand new Mr. and Mrs. Dad! Um, thank you all for being here today. It's been a very special day, um, especially during the... A, a, this difficult time. I know it means a lot to my dad and Cherry. I'm sure we can all agree this venue is spectacular. My parents, May and Roy, unfortunately didn't live to see this day and I know my father was extremely fond of Cherry. Uh, he thought she was great. Um, and of course we've got Cherry's family and friends in the, in the Philippines who would have been here. How are we to fit them all in? I'm, I'm sure this room doesn't take 90 people like they said it did. I mean, it's like 46, I think, in here now. But yeah, you know. but yeah, we, we didn't get anyone from the, the Philippines other than the uh, Philippine diaspora living <laughs> in England. Um, dad, I'd like to thank you in front of family and friends for being my dad, as well as my brothers. Um, I've loved having you guys here over the summer, um, but I will be really glad when I won't have to take them to Costco anymore for the wine. <laughs> I've been so ha lucky to find such a, a beautiful lover and soulmate who understands me so well, most of the time. Um, yeah, but I love her dearly, even if she doesn't always get my dad jokes. <laughs>